Ever wondered what secrets lie behind the glitz and glamour of WWE? Join us as we uncover the jaw-dropping, scandalous histories of your favorite wrestling superstars. Johnny Gargano is known for his wholesome persona, but his wife, Candice LeRae, takes it to a whole new level. She enters the ring with pixie wings and a cupcake logo, embodying a playful spirit. However, like many indie wrestlers, she has a diverse background that includes intergender wrestling. While WWE occasionally features these matches, LeRae's indie experiences are much more intense. One particular match that stands out took place on July 27, 2014, at a pro wrestling guerrilla show. It was an intergender hardcore match, a real spectacle of grit and pain. Candice teamed up with Joey Ryan to face the Young Bucks in a brutal guerrilla warfare match. The match had its share of cringe-worthy moments. At one point, Matt Jackson delivered a super kick to Candice with a shoe covered in thumbtacks. The impact left her forehead looking like a pincushion, eliciting gasps from the crowd. But Candice wasn't about to back down. In retaliation, she executed a move known as the Ball Splex, a devastating maneuver where she grabs her opponent by the nether regions and flips them over her head. In this hardcore setting, she took it a step further. Before executing the move, she poured a handful of thumbtacks into Matt Jackson's tights, adding an extra layer of pain to the already brutal match. This unforgettable bout showcased Candice LeRae's toughness and willingness to push boundaries, proving that beneath her pixie wings and cupcake logo, she has the heart of a true warrior. Throughout American history, 46 different men have served as the Commander-in-Chief, but only one has also held the prestigious title of WWE Hall of Famer. That man, of course, is Donald J. Trump. While many might assume Trump's favorite wrestler is Bobby Lashley given Lashley helped Trump secure a victory in the infamous Hair V's hair match against Vince McMahon at WrestleMania 23, there's a lesser-known, intriguing tale in the world of wrestling. Donald Trump has a well-known family Donald Jr., Ivanka, Eric, Tiffany, and Baron. However, there's a mythical figure in the wrestling community that few talk about El Hijo de Trump. This mysterious persona has stepped into the ring on several occasions to defend the Trump legacy. One of the most memorable appearances was at the Coastal Championship Wrestling Cinco de Mayhem show on May 5, 2017. El Hijo de Trump, sporting what appeared to be his father's signature blonde hair, entered the ring with flair. But as the match progressed, a surprising twist unfolded the blonde locks were revealed to be a wig. Underneath, the masked wrestler bore an uncanny resemblance to a certain WWE superstar, leading fans to speculate wildly. The truth is, El Hijo de Trump is not actually Donald Trump's son. If he were, he might have found himself in a more prominent position in the WWE, perhaps under Vince McMahon's McMahon's mentorship. But this fictional character adds a layer of entertainment and mystery to the already colorful world of professional wrestling, leaving fans amused and intrigued by the possibility of such a figure defending the honor of the Trump name in the wrestling ring. Many big-name wrestling talents began their careers with some hilariously bad names. Take The Rock, who started out as Flex Cavana, or Triple H, originally known as Terror Rising. And then there's Darren Drostov, who went by the name Puke, yes, you read that right. We'll come back to that one later. Shotzi Blackheart's name might not be the greatest, but it suits her wild persona. But before she made it to WWE, she had an even more interesting moniker. Let's delve into a bit of wrestling history. Rick and Scott Steiner, managed by Missy Hyatt, were one of the most formidable tag teams of the 90s. Their high-impact style was a staple of WCW television. Scott Steiner, before becoming Big Papa Pump, popularized moves like the Frankensteiner and the Steiner Screwdriver, both jaw-dropping and incredibly risky maneuvers. Rick Steiner, meanwhile, is the father of current WWE star Braun Breaker. Now, let's talk about Hood Slam, an edgy wrestling organization based in Oakland, California, known for its adult-themed acts and parody characters. Among their roster are Rick Scott Stoner and Scott Rick Stoner, collectively known as the Stoner Brothers a nod to 420 culture. This isn't too outlandish considering WWE's history with similar themes, like the Godfather's rolling a fatty for the pimp daddy. And X packs your ass as grass and I'm gonna smoke it during her time managing the Stoner Brothers, Shotzi Blackheart took on the parody role of Missy Hyatt, calling herself Missy Hay. While it might not be the best name ever, it's certainly a step up from Terror Rising. So even the biggest stars had humble beginnings with less than stellar names. These early gimmicks, while often cringeworthy, are a testament to the evolution and creativity within the world of professional wrestling. Let's dive into the wild world of Gigi Dolan, who before making her mark in WWE, was known as Priscilla Kelly. One of her most infamous moments happened at a suburban fight show. 
where she force-fed a seemingly used feminine hygiene product to her opponent. It was a shocking, innovative stunt that made headlines and certainly got people talking. But wait, there's more to her story. When you're in the entertainment business, you always have to push the boundaries, striving to outdo your previous acts. So what could Gigi possibly do to top her notorious stunt? Let's just say it involved a stomach-turning twist that tied back to something I mentioned earlier. During the ultimate bar brawl in Atlanta, Priscilla Kelly pulled off another shocking move. She vomited all over her opponent, Eli Everfly, which allowed her partner, AEW's Darby Allen, to secure a win. As the legendary Jim Ross says, it ain't ballet, it's important to remember that the world of professional wrestling is filled with memorable and controversial moments. Gigi Dolan, with her fearless approach to entertainment, certainly knows how to keep audiences on the edge of their seats. Before he became the household name we know today, John Cena was known as the prototype in the early 2000s. Cena's character was a half-man, half-machine creation who spoke in a robotic monotone and had a physique to match. But that's not the controversial part dot before Cena's WWE fame, he appeared in a lesser-known wrestling promotion called Ultimate Pro Wrestling UPW. During his time there, he was involved in some eyebrow-raising storylines that wouldn't fly today. One of the most infamous was a storyline where his character, the prototype, was depicted as being obsessed with perfection to the point of creepiness. This included unsettling promos and bizarre match stipulations, pushing the boundaries of what was considered appropriate even back then. But that's not all. Cena's early promos often included provocative language and controversial topics, aiming to shock the audience. It was a different era, and Cena was still finding his footing in the wrestling world. These early days were a far cry from the family-friendly hustle, loyalty, respect image that he would later adopt in WWE. While John Cena has come a long way from his days as the prototype, these controversial beginnings are a reminder that even the biggest stars have had their fair share of questionable moments. It's all part of the journey that makes professional wrestling so endlessly fascinating. If you know of any other WWE superstars with controversial pasts, share them in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell just don't puke on it. Until next time.